everybody and welcome back to Children's Church. Today is the first Sunday in February and do you know what February is known for? It's known as the month of love and some of you might think this is a happy day, some of you might be a lonely day and others might think it's completely gross. But even if you do think it's a bit mushy and gross, there's at least lots of chocolates to eat. People use Valentine's Day to show people that they love how much they mean to them. Most people do this by sending flowers, sending chocolates or teddy bears or anything else heart shaped really. People also write each other letters or cards. Now this is nothing new. This has been done since Bible times. If you really want to read some mushy love stuff, you should look in the Song of Solomon in your Bible, where you'll find a poem written by King Solomon. But King Solomon was a very wise man and taught us something very important about love. He told us that love is more than just pretty gifts and nice words, but that we show our love through action. Not just something you say, but something that you do. When I was at school, come Valentine's Day, we had to write a letter to somebody in the class. But you didn't get to decide who that person was. And it often wasn't your friends. So it was really difficult to mean the words you said when you didn't really know the person or it was sometimes someone you didn't even like. That's where the difference between saying you love some, someone or something about someone and actually loving them comes in. When you love someone or love something about someone, you do something about it. So love can look like your parents making you lunch every day. Love can be spending time with a friend when they're having a bad day. Love can be bringing your brother or sister a treat when they're not feeling well. We can say we love someone, but we also need to show how much we love them in our actions. Now, this isn't just my opinion. It comes from the Bible. Jesus didn't have any Valentine's Day sweethearts, but he showed us love over and over again. Let's look at a time where Jesus showed love to his disciples. We can find this in John 13 verses 1 to 17. Let's look at verse 4 to 5. Now in, this, in these verses, Jesus and his disciples are having a meal together. Let's read from verse 4. It says, So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. The washing of feet might sound like a bit of a dirty or gross job, but it was definitely necessary, since people in Bible times wore sandals all the time, so their feet got really dirty. If you were to hire a servant, Washing your feet and washing the feet of your guests would be the job of that servant. But Jesus humbled himself to wash the feet of his friends in order to show them what true love looked like. Love is not just pretty words on a card or chocolates in a box. It's feet washing. It's carrying books. It's giving up time. It's hard work to help a friend or a neighbor or a family member or someone special. It's putting other people first, making ourselves the least, just as Jesus did. Love is action and the life of Jesus shows us over and over how we can put love into action. There's something even more amazing about the story we just read in John chapter 13. It's about what Jesus knew at the time. Jesus knew that Judas was about to betray him and hand him over to the enemies to be put on trial. He also knew that nine of his disciples 
would abandon him the moment he was arrested. And the other two would watch from afar as he was being accused of crimes that he didn't commit. Jesus knew all of this was about to happen, but he still washed each of the disciples' feet. He also came and died for all of their sins. He knew none of these men were perfect, but he loved them despite their faithlessness. And he loves us despite our faithlessness. And if we love him enough to give him our hearts, he will bless us with eternal life. Jesus wants us to love others the same way he did. He wants us to put others first in our family, our friends, and even sometimes our enemies. He wants us to always be on the lookout for opportunities to serve others. Anytime we choose to serve others out of love, we show them the love of Jesus. Valentine's Day is a great opportunity to show someone love, not just the mushy, gross kind. This week, look for an opportunity to love someone. Look for a classmate who needs help. Look for a chance to help your mom and dad. Do something unexpected for your brother or sister. Let's love like Jesus with actions, not just words, so that through our service, we can share the love of Jesus with others. See how much of this lesson you remember by clicking on the link below in the description box to find a little quiz. Let's pray and worship together. Dear God, thank you for the reminder of your love during this month of love. Remind us that we should show our love not only in our words, but in our actions too. Help us to show others your love through our acts of love for others. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Your life.